Okay, as I said before earlier in the show, today's jobs report, I think, is a red flag recession warning. With us now to talk about it, John Carney, Breitbart Economics and Finance Editor and co-author of the Breitbart Business Digest, a daily must-read, and Michael Falkender, former Assistant Treasury Secretary for Economic Policy and now Chief Economist at AFPI and Professor of e Finance at the University of Maryland, Correct. which has become quite a fancy school. All right, gentlemen, John Carney, don't tell me this is a good report. As I'm going to say to you, looking at the numbers, look under the hood, non-farm payrolls up only 99,000, private payrolls only up 51,000, and manufacturing jobs have gone nowhere for the past year, actually. Biden's out there telling us how great manufacturing is, and no one can find any evidence of it. Right. Well, I will point that we <laughs> we did build we had construction jobs. Construction jobs have not come down except for one month over the past 12 months. So even though we had this massive Fed increase in interest rates, the most interest rate section of the economy, for some reason, isn't slowing down. Now, a big part of it may be Biden spending a lot of money building, you know, the Chips Act and inflation reduction. You know what construction the jobs have done in the past 12 months? Where have they gone? Plus 17,000. But we haven't. That's had for one, a right. couple of trillion dollars of, of climate spending. Right. It's not efficient. I wouldn't spent. say this was cost effective. What, what, what I would say is that uh, the thing that bothered me, worried me the most in this report was not the slowdown in jobs. That's something we actually have been trying to engineer. We've talked about that before. It's actually that inflation remains, or wage inflation remains very high. Mm -hmm. It's very likely, we just crossed the Rubicon where we had people actually getting real wage gains last month. Mm -hmm. pro when CPI comes out next week, we're probably going to see again these numbers are going to reflect. Average hourly wages are increasing. That's going to worry the Fed a lot. We're going to hear from that probably at the next meeting, but then also when they go out to Jackson so, Hole. So the Fed's going to keep raising rates. Absolutely. Basically. So this, this report even, almost guarantees two more hikes. Even though this is a terrible jobs report, right. the Fed's going to keep. We did, until we, the last job is gone, the Fed's going to keep right, raising as long, rates. As long as somebody It's a still terrific gets hired, policy. They're Just going to do it. La, until the last job is gone, the Fed will do it. We, we got, Jay Powell we, will turn the lights out on the economy. He'll be the last guy. It's like leaving the kitchen at night. You know what I mean? My wife says the kitchen's closed. Jay Powell, the economy's closed. Turn the switch. <laughs> last light is out. Uh, Mike Falkender, welcome back on set. What do you think about this story? There were two numbers for me that, that stuck out. The, <laughs> the first one was that if you look at the job gains, they were government, they were health care, and Ooh. they were social services, and then the construction Ooh, jobs. By the way, I miss, huh? You're, you're absolutely right. Mike Falkender, you're so smart. 60,000 of the jobs were government. That's right. Good for you. Good for you. And so if you look at it, this is not a private sector fuel right. job growth. This right. is entirely coming from trillions of dollars in deficit spending, which is not sustainable. The other thing that, that stuck out to me was that 452,000 increase in the number of workers that are working part-time for economic reasons. Oh, oh. So these are people that were previously working full-time, now working part-time because there's not enough work for them to do with their employer. So those two things tell me that that's, from the private sector, we're looking at a slowdown. That's why the revised private payrolls are only 51,000. Most of that number today was government jobs. That's fact. I, you know what? It's right here. John Riding and Conrad de Quattro's, and I missed it. Good for you. No, no. He's, he's a really smart guy. That's why he was the chief economist of the Treasury Department. Um, so should the Fed keep tightening? I don't think so. No, because the, the amount by which inflation has come down is given what we're looking at in the banking sector mm -hmm. and the uh, the problems that the banking sector is sitting in with their long-term loans. Mm -hmm. We don't need to be raising interest rates to do that. We've got too many, la you know, there's lags with which monetary policy operates. So I, I don't see a reason to continue raising rates. If I think about a five and a half percent Fed funds compared to a, a 4%, 3.5% CPI number, that kind of tells me that they probably need to stay where they're at. Um, John Taylor's at six on the latest Taylor rule. Uh, Kevin Hassett is maybe six plus. But John Carney, your on other column that you wrote this past week is that Bidenomics is making everybody poorer. It is. And I'm, I keep asking people to explain Bidenomics. I had Hassett on last night. I had Holtz Eakin on. I've got Falkender on. I've got all these big shots on. Uh, I asked Bill Hemmer this morning. I asked Brian Kilmeade just now. Nobody can explain Bidenomics except for the fact that it ain't working. It, well, first of all, it's built on a lie because the very beginning of Bidenomics is I inherited an economic catastrophe. 
which we know isn't true. He didn't inherit an economic mm -hmm. catastrophe. He inherited an economy that was growing above 6%. Mm -hmm. He inherited an economic boom. Mm -hmm. So everything since then has been a lie. We got inflation because they lied that we were in an economic catastrophe, so they overspent. Mm -hmm. So, of course, right now you're thinking, why can't I make sense of this? It's because it's just lies. Nobody I've talked to can explain what from the bottom up and the middle out means at all. And that's also not what they're doing. When they are having government-directed money flowing into the economy, the, you know, all the subsidies for the Green New Deal stuff, that's not from the bottom up. It's that's a, the top down. It, it's a grift. You yes. are exactly right. It's a grift. It's money to donors, campaign donors. It's money to big corporations who buy into their DEI and climate change stuff. It's money to Democratic interest groups, city by city, state by state. You are so right. It's not it working totally top either down. because the American they people work. are rejecting it all of the time. I Whenever you see the polls, they say, you know, he's, he's they don't right. trust Biden. He, on this one, you'd give him a high oh, Absolutely. Mark, he's it got is. this right. I got to get out. Yeah. I'd, I'd give him an A on it. Not, not on the jobs report, but on this. <laughs> he's got it completely right.